Evening. The question of whether or not IPFW should become an independent university took center stage at a state house hearing today. Lawmakers and school officials met with an education committee because some say Purdue has too much control over the Fort Wayne campus and neglects its needs. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has the story from Indianapolis. Is the affiliation with IU and Purdue important to IPFW? That's what leaders here at the state house were talking about today. What seems to be the university's biggest concern is the fact it has little control over itself. It's governed by Purdue University in West Lafayette. You might recall earlier this year, Purdue made longtime IPFW Chancellor Michael Wartell retire. Senator James Banks said today it upset a lot of folks, including himself. The former chancellor talked about the issues with Purdue. Both the old chancellor and the new chancellor believe it's not a good idea to lose the IU-Purdue affiliation. No, I do not think that would be the best thing to do. I, I think that the affiliation with IU and Purdue is very good, but they have to realize on those campuses that we've grown up, we've matured. One of the major factors that attracted me um, to this position was the fact that the two powerhouse institutions in the state of Indiana were together in one place. Chancellor Emeritus Michael Wartell says the university should keep the affiliation with IU and Purdue. He says that they should work with the president and board so that IPFW does have more control. Now, today was Vicki Carwine's first day on the job. She told legislators that she didn't really have a recommendation for them quite yet. Now, this isn't the end of the discussion. This could possibly be on the agenda for the upcoming session. Reporting in Indianapolis, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.